Hi, I'm Steve from Business uh, Web Services here. Um, just coming to you with a with a short video that I really think is is massive. Um, I, I get a lot of people saying to me, "Oh, you know, we we we've got a social media person that we're working with, and we're getting some some um, posts done on Instagram and and Facebook and everything like that, and it's generating us good traffic and." We're wanting to make some sales and generate leads and bits and pieces like this, okay? And I say to them, so there's there's one thing or there's a couple of things that you need to have in your website to, to really maximize on that, okay? And this video is about if you're spending money to get visitors to your website, you must do this. Now, it doesn't matter if you're spending money on ads, if you're spending money on getting someone to do your social media posts, or search engine optimization or any of that sort of stuff you know um, radio advertising anything that is generating and sending uh, traffic to your website you need to be uh, doing what, I, what I'm going to show you in this video okay so let's let's start off with your website visitors they come to your website from all sorts of different sources okay and they'll, they'll visit that two, uh, 24 7 uh, 24 hours a day seven days a week um, 365 days of the year but the problem with that is that 99.9% .9 of them don't interact they'll come along they'll have a look maybe their phone goes and they get distracted or their kids distract them or something you know if you don't put yourself out there to collect their information they won't uh, put put that out there for you okay um, I'm going to go over into this a little bit more detail. So visitor analytics is probably the best that a lot of a lot of websites that I see out there. You've got your analytics and everything, but the, you're, you're, you're still getting traffic. Yeah, you're getting traffic from different different areas. And your analytics is going to tell you where the, where the traffic came from and everything like that. So you'll see this from, you know, Facebook ads, your Google ads, social media agencies, SEO, web optimization, blogs, whatever the case may be. People are coming from all sorts of places, okay? But 99% of that traffic, like I said before, is just leaving footprints, okay? They're leaving an analytics number, okay? So here's the analytics, here's, here's what your analytics looks like, okay? So you, you got your active visitors right now and what country they're coming from, but that doesn't help you market to people, yeah? So what? Realistically, hey, we've got visitors, so what? How does that generate leads? How does analytics make more sales? And how does your analytics grow your business? It tells you some really good metrics, but it does nothing to absolutely put money in your bank account, yeah? And typical answers? we can see where our visitors come from okay we can see if our social media is working you know we can monitor our bounce rate those are all good things you know and we can work out our conversion rates but these conversion rates are only to people that come to your website and take action the first time because most people won't come back unless they're really really interested or you give them a reason to okay so, so, so what again? How does knowing all of those things generate leads? How does knowing that make more sales? And how does knowing all those things grow your business? Okay, they don't do anything to just build dollars. Okay, they give you lots of good information. But we have 10,000 Instagram followers. We've got 13,000 Facebook likes. Okay, 20,000 YouTube subscribers. That's okay, but they need to be coming to your website to be able to do anything. Yes, yeah, there's Instagram stores and there's Facebook stores and those types of things, but they're still coming to your website. Okay, again, so what? Are they generating leads? Are they buying? Now, Facebook has changed this algorithm um, well, quite a while back now, and you know, you might have 13,000 people um, that like your page. Every time you put a post up, you'll be lucky to get out to 10% of those people. Okay? Um, because they want you to pay, pay for ads now. Facebook used to be fantastic. Facebook pages were great for, 
for growing your business every time you did a post. Okay, a group groups are even better. Here's a little free little snippet. You know, get the people from your Facebook pages, set up a Facebook group inside of a specialty of your business and, and grow from there because those people, the people in groups get your posts when you put them up, okay? We're seeing massive, massive um, traffic spikes when we put posts out to groups um, versus putting the post out to pages and the pages having far, far greater um, numbers of likes or members, okay? All right, so how are they growing your business? So it takes seven to 10 interactions with a prospect before they take action. Now, this was this is the same before the internet was around, yeah? This is, you know, you had your TV advertising. If you're a really big company, you had radio advertising, uh, newspaper advertising, uh, flyers and letterbox drops, all these sorts of things that used to... The, the old saying was you have to um, get yourself into, in front of people seven times before they actually uh, take action, okay? So this is no different, okay? So why do we expect to sell with only one with our website? You know, I hear all the time, oh, we had 200 visitors to our website yesterday and we only made three sales. How come, you know? Is there something wrong with my website? No, there's probably nothing wrong with your website, okay? That works out to a conversion rate of 1.5%, which is not huge. Yeah, I, I get that, okay? But we're expecting people to come to our website and make a sale. And that just doesn't happen 99.9% uh, .9 of the time, okay? So the answer is really simple. Again, it takes seven to 10 interactions with a prospect before they'll take action. So these are the things we need to do. We need to put our Facebook pixel in there. We need to put the Google tracking code, okay? You could even put the, the UET um, code from Bing, which is exactly the same thing. They've all just got different names for, for pixels and tracking codes. And there's also one for, for Twitter. Okay. The two biggies are Facebook pixel and your Google tracking code. And the, the Twitter website tag is a, is a pretty good one as well, depending on your um, audience. And, and also Bing, it's dependent on your audience. Okay. Um, why? Because they're so powerful for later use, even if you don't think you're going to use them now. Okay, people say, oh, well, I only need that if I'm going to be doing ads. Well, yes, they are very important for when you're doing ads, and you might not do ads for another six months down the track. But there is a really good reason for you to um, have them in there tracking and doing all the sort of the, the background stuff, okay? Now, what is a pixel or a tag? Well, all it is really is a piece of code that we install to every page of your website, okay? That code sits in the back end. You can't see it when you're looking at your website itself. And what that does is it attaches itself um, to you, more or less, or um, logs your IP, or which is your, your little um, your computer uh, generated sort of uh, registration code here. Uh, we're, when we're using our mobile phones, we're, we're always on Facebook. We're logged into Facebook. We're probably logged into Twitter as well. And those social uh, networks and YouTube as well, they will, will track you around the internet and they know all sorts of things about you, okay? Some people think it's spooky um but it's not it's not they don't know who you are you're just a number uh you're a number that they know that um, visits these sorts of places they know what your intent is whether you buy online whether you don't buy online whether you're interested in babies bottles and and push chairs or motor racing or yacht yacht sailing or those types of things okay and so how does it work okay now here's a really good um really good graphic that I found and it shows a bride to be starting on the left hand side here the bride to be researches the vendors online she finds your website because you're in the bridal market you're a photographer or you sell wedding dresses or wedding cakes or whatever the case may be now you know you, you can sell fishing tackle or 
you could sell um you know any anything like that but they find your website because they're interested in what you do they might have been sent an email and it's in an email signature the link click boom there they go okay her visitors then tracked then she gets onto facebook she your ad shows up for her on facebook and they click your ad and return to the site now if you don't have ads running your um pixels and tags are still collecting that information and that's why it's so important to have it running even if you're not running ads okay i'll go in a little bit more into into that later on but essentially the visitor returns to your site after seeing the ad now that ad it, it may not be facebook it may be the sydney morning herald or the washington post or trade me marketplace or something like that where an ad will pop up and they'll see the ad and then come back to your website okay to do some more looking or to purchase the product that they were looking at that you've actually shown them again um, in all the multiple places that you can go um, on your computer on your on your mobile phone whatever the case may be okay you've seen this you've had it done for you before you've looked at something online you know you're going to take the kids camping at christmas time and uh you know you've looked at a different um you know you've looked at a tent and then you know you'll be somewhere else and all of a sudden uh, a picture of that tent will show up on the side and you'll think oh wow i was only looking at that the other day okay the more you know about these things you'll the more you'll notice it and we can do that for your business so having these pixels installed is very, very important because Google holds on to that information for 540 days. Okay, so depending on what it is, um, and so with YouTube, because YouTube is owned by Google, they they store your information for 540 days from your last visit. Okay, so they have a, an immense amount of information for you uh, on you about you about your buying habits your website um or internet usage habits okay facebook's 180 days that's that's what's that that's three months okay instagram again because it's owned by facebook another three months no that's six months sorry six months worth of um data so in six months time if you were to look at it you could collectively see um all the people that have been to your website um, and and market to them um, under under certain different parameters. Bing also is um, six months and Twitter's ninety days. Okay, so if you decided, hey, look, we're making really good sales now. We want to ramp that up higher, um, and you've already got all this history sitting in there. You can choose any one of those um, six platforms there to to market to your to your audience okay but we aren't doing any paid ads yet i understand that but you we can track your complete website visitors we can segment out of their inquiry forms people who have submitted a form and and you know later on send them information based upon the form that they filled out you know those are added to cart um sales success pages so a sales success page is all of the people that have purchased from you and had a successful sale they land on a on come to a landing page or a thank you page that says hey thanks for your sale um oh thanks for your purchase um here are the next steps okay if if out of all of the people that have visited your website and you were able to market to the people that are added to cart but not been to your um, sales success page you know that they're interested in what you have but they didn't go through with it with the purchase what if you were to say hey look we've um, got a special offer for you here's the product that you looked at um buy one get two you know get buy one get one for free or something like that extra conversions extra sales sales that you wouldn't have had before okay uh, video views people that have watched a video it could be a recipe video it could be a, a how-to video how to tie a tie you know then you can sell some ties to them or some, whatever the case may be okay and the biggie is lookalike audiences 
So later on down the track, you can make lookalike audiences. Instead of having just a whole heap of people that have visited your website and you're trying to um, figure out who did what action, if you had 200 people that had been through your sales success page, so that's 200 people that had purchased, and you made a lookalike audience inside of Facebook around those people that have purchased, and you marketed in an area, could be the world, could be just the country, could be just your, your hometown, that looked like those people that had purchased already, you're weeding out a huge amount of dead wood, okay? So this is super, super, super powerful stuff, okay? Just by adding those pixels, even if you're not gonna use them straight away. If you don't use them at all, it doesn't really matter. It's really good analytic stuff to keep um, on your site as well. The biggest issue with it is it's that this information is not retrospective. If I pop that those pixels onto my website today, I start at zero from today, okay? Um, if I pop the pixels on my website 12 months ago, I have this massive, massive database for a, for a, for a better term of buying habits, searching habits, visiting habits on my website and the amounts of um, things that we can do with that information from there is huge. It's 100% accurate because it's based upon what has actually happened. It's not, oh, this is what uh, most people do, so we'll do this because of that, which is how generally you start a, um, a campaign. Or these are the keywords that we think we want to, uh, to, to bid for. This is exactly what, what, what is happening. Okay, there is no guesswork, so it's a hundred percent accurate. There is no guesswork whatsoever. We know that if we market to people that have added to cart but haven't purchased, that and we we give them a really good offer. Number one, we're going to pick up some sales. Number two, we can make an ad that is really really good, but as we're not going to upset someone who's already purchased. Um, without that special okay how does it make you feel when you see I don't know an ad advertisement for a new mobile phone plan and hold on that plans better than what I've currently got and you go and, and you want to um, take advantage of that plan but they say no sorry it's only to new customers only you know what a way to treat your, your current customers you know so th there are so many different ways that we can we can use this stuff they're real visitors, real buyers. This stuff is absolute gold, okay? So I'm gonna be putting a th together some some more videos around the, the pixels and how you can see um, what your competitors are doing, you know, um, what their pixels are, um, you know, what, what tracking they're actually running on their website and what tools I use to do that and other bits and pieces. So if any of this um, interests you and you want to go any um, any further with it, hey, no problems at all. Go go hard, run, watch, watch through this video a few times and, and do that. If you don't know how to do it and, and want it done, give me a, flick me an email, steve at bizweb.nz or go to bizweb.nz and fill out an inquiry form there and um, and one of either myself or one of my team members will be in contact with you straight away, and um, we'll look at seeing what we can do to to set that up for you. This stuff, like I say, is gold, and not many businesses are doing it, and not even many of the big companies are doing it. Okay, so um, it's it's a really good way to get a jump on on um, your competitors and and really, really build your business up. Thank you very much for listening, and I'll talk to you soon. Catch you later.